Like, there's lots of ways now for the music industry to make money by doing some of the, like, virtual backstage events, you know, and doing some of these new things. Like, for example, NFTs have become huge now, especially in hip-hop. Rappers like Lil Yachty and Lil Baby, you know, the, the businessman rappers are starting to really get in. What's your, exactly, what's They're your thinking. opinion of NFTs and, like, have you thought about it? Is it in kind of the vision of the future for you? Absolutely, absolutely. NFTs are, are, I'd like to say we're in pre-internet era when we're talking about NFTs. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think that they'll really pick up traction for the general popularity within maybe three to five years. But we're seeing those big names. We're seeing the, 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 the curious individuals, the curious entrepreneurs that, on, yeah. that aren't only artists. Like, you may know them as artists, but they are business people, you know. They're, right. they're trading, they're, right. they're learning different skills, they're applying them as time adapts. And this is part of what is happening with, with, our, with our futures, at least. And so yep. I myself am, am getting a little bit more involved in the NS, NFT space as a very beginner artist by understanding it, learning a yep. little bit more about blockchain and finding different ways to utilize it. Um, I, I obviously don't have a big following at this point in time, so selling an NFT for a hundred, even even for a thousand dollars, might be a little bit crazy. Um, yeah. So I need to be able. Everyone everyone should be able to distinguish where they are on that totem pole, but at least be able to understand it and prepare yourself for that movement if you can't already do it right now. It is currently very expensive right. to put out NFTs. Um, Maybe you won't even sell it, so that's the gamble right now. Yeah. There are different apps that I'm becoming more familiar with. One of them is called User, and we're actually mm -hmm. building a relationship with them. And they're going to make it very easy for, like, almost you upload your NFTs, like an Instagram, and you can just scroll through the feed. It, it creates almost a marketplace, and then it's super easy for people to buy it, too, because it connects to OpenSea and all of that fun stuff. So as I learn more about that, I'm happy to share that with you, but NFTs... Yeah. NFTs, learn about that. For sure. It's a it's a world for sure. It is important, you know, whether you're considering to like, you know, start owning them or selling them or whatever. It's important just to understand because it's an interesting crossover between the music industry and finance, which we don't see very often. You know, like obviously every aspect of the music industry is, you know, tied to business. You know, like you were saying, these rappers are businessmen, you know, they own record labels, they own the they own their own companies or clothing lines or whatever the case is. But we don't see like, you know, like the finance industry cross over into other industries like this, you know, so often, which is why I think it's so interesting. And I think it's exciting yeah. for artists to kind of get on not necessarily the bandwagon, but, you know, kind of get on the leading edge of of kind of this opportunity. So I think it's interesting and I'm I'm excited to hear that you're, you know, learning about it and keeping abreast to that. Uh